Hi, I'm Paul Malanik. I'm with Digital Art Forms, and I'm here to show you iMedic 3D. Uh, it's a visualization package, DICOM visualization package, based on this pair of track controllers, which are called space grips. Um, these controllers each have uh, three coils in them, and this block here sets up a uh, magnetic field that are sensed by these, and that gives us our, the position of both my hands in space, both position and orientation. And uh, one of the strengths of iMedic 3D is its uh, navigation through space, its capability to put us anywhere in the data set. Um, I, with a particular button press, middle finger button press, I can grab space uh, with either hand, and that gives me the ability to climb a rope or pull it, you know, climb a ladder, pull in a rope. Um, or if I grab with both hands, I can rotate the scene. And more so, if I grab uh, with both hands and stretch the world apart, I can scale in and scale out. And it's, it's very much like uh, 3D multi-touch. So instead of having two points on a surface, we have two free 3D points in space to uh, uh, use to control our viewpoint. And with this uh, uh, simple vocabulary, I can basically position myself anywhere I want to be. Um, so we'll, we'll go into the uh, sending colon and walk up to where I happen to know there's a, uh, a lesion. Uh, one of the doctors, one of the radiologists is presenting uh, this study at uh, RSNA this year. Um, and what's interesting about this uh, um, lesion is that it looks like a polyp. We, we're not sure exactly uh, that it is. And typically in CT colonography, you find the uh, uh, you, f you find the, the lesion by shape, but then you qualify it with the raw data. And we've devised a way to bring the uh, raw data into 3D context. So I'll place this uh, what we call the clip box right over the uh, lesion. And now I can scroll up and scroll down uh, right here in 3D. Um, again, what's kind of interesting about this particular lesion is that it doesn't originate here. It actually comes from someplace else in the body, as it turns out, over by the uh, uh, And so I, can, I get an indication that it's traveling in that direction. And I'll just switch modes, rendering mode. And now we're in a different view, uh, which is kind of a two and a half feet view. And as I tilt this down, you can see the tail of this actually traveling off way across the body, far away from where this uh, polyp was detected, over to the uh, appendix. And, uh, uh, that, that's one use of the, of the clip box. There are several other uses. I'll, I'll bring up another uh, uh, rendering mode. We have several. Um, so now I have the clip box. I'm going to define it to be some particular shape. Uh, we have a toolbox that floats over your left hand, so you never leave it behind. Um, and I'll change some values. I'm going to take the ISO surface out, and I'm also going to uh, uh, take out any uh, data that's drawn within the box and turn off the, uh, uh, the clip box again. And now we can actually just walk inside. This gives us visual access to just about any place in the data. Uh, another thing about the clip box is I can move it from within. I can actually, uh, while I'm immersed in this uh, uh, world, I'm able to change the position and, and investigate any data that I want to uh, from within. Uh, the converse of clipping things out of the clip box is clipping things into the clip box uh, in case we want to declutter the scene. So I'm going to uh, uh, now I'm going to turn everything off that's outside the clip box and turn out on everything that's inside the clip box. And now we can sweep this uh, through space. 
examine anything. This we use this in uh, uh, a security application we call Unpack 3D uh, that allows us to examine the contents of a bag for suspicious contents or suspicious uh, materials and, and shapes. Uh, for instance, we could put a clip box around a, an aerosol can uh, to see if it really is an aerosol can and even to look at it at what's inside that can. So this is uh, the 3D version of iMedic, iMedic 3D, and we have a 2D version as well called iMedic Packs, which is the beginning of a, uh, a front end that, that's also tracker based, uh, but uh, affords uh, better obliques and a more comfortable workflow. So we should, I guess we move over. What we have here is the uh, fax version of it. Okay. Good. Uh, so this is a, uh, a 2D version. This is more of a uh, standard uh, view that radiologists are accustomed to uh, operating on cross-sectional imagery uh, that lets you zoom with a sing zoom, pan and zoom with a single move uh, and scroll in and out. Uh, through the uh, standard axial, sagittal, and coronal views.